Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn the difference between descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. So we will start with the descriptive statistics. What is the definition of descriptive statistics? Uh, descriptive statistics is basically used to describe the characteristics of a data set under study in a meaningful way. So this is just the definition in terms of words. But our main purpose of this lecture is your is to enhance your understanding regarding descriptive statistics. So we will discuss it uh, with the help of pictures. So here we have a diagram of the population that is a large number of people and a diagram of a sample. So we have we have a sample from this population. So we have uh, you can say a sample or you can say a data set and we are going to analyze these this sample and we are going to uh, make the analysis of the test score of this sample using the descriptive statistics. So we have to make the analysis of this sample. We are not going to make the decisions of this population from this sample. We are not going to do this in descriptive statistics. This is the basic difference of descriptive and inferential statistics. Whatever the analysis we are going to do of this sample is limited to this sample. We cannot extend it to the population. So this means we are going to describe characteristics of this data set in a meaningful way there is no probability in it it's definite whatever the analysis we are going to do so how we are how we have to do that analysis or how we have to do the descriptive statistics we have the methods for that and what are those methods so these are the different methods uh, that we will use in descriptive statistics for analyzing the given sample and to make the decision or to make the uh, uh, the data more uh, meaningful by using these different methods that is mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, percentages and so on. These are the few different methods that I just want, this is just for your um, uh, clarity that you, what methods or what, uh, that what methods you can use in descriptive statistics in order to analyze the given sample. So we have to use these methods to make the data more meaningful another thing of descriptive statistics is you need not to have a large data set so in descriptive statistics there is no requirement of having a large data set to make the decisions to analyze the data so whatever the sample you will have you can easily make the analysis using the descriptive statistics by finding the mean of that data by finding the median mod standard deviation variance percentages and whatever the purpose of your analysis is it depends so there is no restriction in the descriptive statistics but in case of inferential statistics we have such kind of you can say restrictions or you can say requirements for making the analysis so let's see what kind of requirements required while doing the inferential statistics so inferential statistics is all about making inferences or predictions about the population from a sample so here comes the difference of between the descriptive and inferential statistics let's describe through the diagram so in case of inferential statistics we have to make the inferences or we have to make the predictions about the population from the sample let's see this diagram here we have a population so this is the population and this is the sample that we have taken from the population and we have to analyze this sample using inferential statistics i'll tell you later which methods we are going to use just like descriptive statistics but first you just understand the concept you have to analyze this sample that that is taken from the population and then make predictions depends on your the research cost questions or your hypothesis that what you are going to find out then you have to apply that predictions to the whole population you have to make the decisions of of the whole population based on the sample this is inferential statistics as its name is indicating as well that is making inferences that is making predictions about the population from a representative sample of the population you will came across the word representative sample of the population um, everywhere wherever you read the difference between the descriptive and inferential statistics but does it mean that a representative sample is the requirement in case of inferential statistics in order to make the decision of the population from the sample now what kind of sample you should have let's see so here is a diagram in which we have so 
Here we have a diagram. On the left side, we have a population and we have to select a sample from this population in a way that every, for example, if I say male and female, if the population consists of like red is the male and black is the female, so it means there are six female and two male and we have to make take the sample from this population, then we have to take a random sample, a sample in which every individual has the equal chance of getting selected. So if they just like here we have two, if we have two female in the random sample we must have the female and then in, if we have six male we, in the random sample we must have the male like there, here are three male it means we have selected the male as well as female in order to make the analysis and that, rend, that sample is called random sample or you can say a representative sample so that we can easily make the analysis. In case we are not selecting the female and we, we are just selecting the male, how we can extend that decision of uh, male and fem female by making the analysis on the male only or on the female only? It means for making the analysis or for extending the analysis to both uh, to both the genders, you should have that both both the genders in your sample as well. Another important thing for the sample is it should be large. That means it should be large enough that it can easily represent a population. So these two, there are two things that are very important that in inferential statistics. One thing is the representative sample and the other is the large sample. So that you can easily make the um, analysis or make the predictions of the larger population using the sample of that population. However, in case of descriptive statistics, such kind of restrictions were not there. So this is the main or basic difference between the de descriptive and inferential statistics. Lastly, what methods you will use to make the analysis? Just like in descriptive, we have used mean, median, mod or these kind of uh, measures uh, for making the analysis. In case of inferential statistics, we have to use the different, uh, we have different tests but mainly what we have to do is, so in inferential statistics, uh, we usually use hypothesis testing, regression analysis, sometimes confidence interval. Mainly we, are, we uh, use the hypothesis testing and regression analysis. Hypothesis testing is basically uh, used to test the different um, kind of hypothesis um, that set up, set up according to your research. And um, the regression analysis is used for uh, checking the relationship between dependent and independent variables. So in hypothesis test kinds of tests that you can use for testing your hypothesis and same is case for the regression analysis. So these are the methods that can be used in inferential statistics for making the analysis of it, for making the predictions of the sample uh, that you that is taken from the population and extend that prediction back to the population. This is the basic difference between the descriptive and inferential statistics that is you do not extend your analysis results to the population while in inferential you do extend the, anal uh, the results and based on the inferences or the test hypothesis testing or regression analysis or different kinds of tests that you do. In our next few lectures we will discuss all these methods all the different tests one by one for your further understanding but this is the main idea behind that you should and have this idea before making the research that what kind of statistics you are going to use either descriptive or inferential so that's all from today's lecture do tell me in your comments what you understand what you do not understand what you have the issues for making in during your research so these are the basics of your research that you should know before um, making any any kind of analysis that's all from today's lecture thank you